Today marks 35 years since the Challenger explosion killed all seven crew members on board. It happened just 73 seconds into its flight. What started as one of the most exciting and public launches in history quickly turned to tragedy. Tonight, we hear from one Hoosier who witnessed it all firsthand while working for NASA. On a cold morning 35 years ago, millions watched in anticipation. Seven astronauts boarded the Challenger Space Shuttle one by one. Yeah, At the time, Carmel cold. resident Andy Quatz was working as a programmer right. at Kennedy real. Space Center. And if you weren't critical for the mission, you were allowed to go outside and observe it, and you could bring your camera with. Three, two, one. So that morning, he did, taking a break to watch the historic launch. Go and throttle up. But 73 seconds into flight, everything changed. When that fire got to it, conflagration, and it was, everything was what you see there. In that big picture there, you see the fireball and, and all of that. For a few seconds, there was hope that the emergency system would kick in. It didn't take very much longer than the 10 seconds or 15 seconds for the realization to settle in that this the orbiter isn't coming back. Klotz she watched the whole tragedy unfold through his lens, snapping a photo optic. almost every five seconds. Nice, to this day, he still has the prints, like and it's a tragedy that has given us lessons for today. I mean, accidents happen, and, and tragedy can be significant, but, um, you know, life is going to go on. And he will always have the images to look back on.